Tina, creator and tour guide of Potty Mouth Tours. The truth is, I've always loved bathrooms. Some might say it's a small fetish. With Potty Mouth Tours, I'm on a mission to discover unique, outrageous, and even uh-oh bathrooms. Then give them a voice to tell their stories. So let's go check this shit out. Hey y'all, thanks for joining Potty Mouth Tours again. You are gonna be happy that you did. Today, we are starting a four part series of the bathrooms in this building, which just happens to be the home of Scum of the Earth Church. I'm really excited because when I first started searching for tour worthy bathrooms in Colorado, Scum of the Earth Church is the one that came the most recommended. I know, you're probably thinking what I did. A church? And Scum of the Earth? No less. I will admit, the name made me a little bit apprehensive about checking it out. But when I sucked it up and snuck a peek of their bathrooms, I was like, That's my in awe face. I plan to do them justice with the tours and I hope that your jaw drops even just a little. One other note I wanna make before we start the tours. Even though there are three different designers and a large amount of assistants and artists for each of the bathrooms, there still is one common theme, teamwork. Not one artist took all of the credit for the work done which I believe is what contributes to the success of these amazing projects. The church building was originally the home of Hands-On Studios and the actual residence of artist and designer Lonnie Hands-On, who was famous for designing Denver's iconic gateway sculpture, Evolution of the Ball, at Coors Field. Because there wasn't any land available on the property for a garden, the East Garden bathroom was created to illustrate a walk through the garden. This neo-Victorian moralistic design was brought to life by Lonnie and over 12 of his creative studio team members. Floor to ceiling, the space is a canvas fashioned from recycled materials, collections, and project leftovers, including the evolution of the ball, that Lonnie and his team have created over the past 25 years. Even the toilet tank lid got a makeover. Lonnie points out that as you sit on the loo, the view gives the feeling of sitting in a garden. Similar to the Wizard of Oz, you will encounter gators and peacocks and frogs, oh my! The walls are inhabited with creatures and objects to discover, which actually makes for a fun game of I spy. Stay tuned, the next video will continue our tour of what Lonnie describes as his baronial archaeological stash. Just like an artist doesn't display all their work at one exhibit, Potty Mouth Tours save some for later. For insider information about these and other bathrooms, just head to our Bathroom Tours blog. While you're on PottyMouthTours.com, stop by the Potty Village to upload your own bathroom photos and score t-shirts and hats at the rest shop. So you don't miss our new releases, subscribe to Potty Mouth Tours YouTube channel.